Hey guys, welcome to part two of the Create Drafting View. Uh, this one, uh, we're going to start doing the uh, pseudocode, right? And then uh, we'll get into it. So, um, with that, so pseudocode first is get all the filtered element collectors that we're going to need later on, right? So, get rid of that guy, make some space. And so then it's going to be, um, so get uh, available title block, or get title block collection. Collection, and then uh, we're gonna need the view family types for to get the drafting view. Uh, let's see. View family types, and then we're gonna need to grab the uh, viewport labels that we're gonna import later, and then we're gonna need to grab viewports. And then we're going to need to grab the detail components. And then we're going to need to open UI views. And this is because we need to zoom in to our drafting view later on. OK. Uh, and then we are inside the transaction. All right. And then in here, we're going to do uh, we need to load title block families. None available. All right, and then we need to grab first title block. And then we need to create a sheet. And then we're gonna create a location for the view on the sheet. Alright, and then for that we're going to load the detail item that we need. And then we need to lay out line one, or lay out the lines that we're going to use, right? So, lay out line one, and Layout line two. All right, and then we're going to uh, uh, grab the symbol that we loaded so we can place it. All right, and then and we're going to place it, obviously. And then we're going to create the viewport finally. And once we create the viewport, uh, then we're going to set viewport settings. And then we're going to uh, let's see, set the label. Set the view title family. Or sorry, load view title family, not that. Family. And then set view title family. Okay. And then we're gonna zoom into our drafting view. Okay. Uh, also, um, there is a significance to pseudocode. The reason why I lay all these out all the time first is just because uh, you kind of know your steps and goals of where you need to get. Like, even if I wasn't teaching you guys this, it'd still be like, I would still draw out the pseudocode so I know what to do next. You know, it's kind of like laying out your your plan, you know, I guess, for plan of attack for what you're going to do. Right. Kind of like your like, to-do list, you know, in terms of, like, grabbing views or setting or create settings or, you know, creating lines or whatever. Um, Whenever I start a new project, it's always going to be pseudocode first, and I'll go back and code it. Kind of helps me keep track of where I'm at. Okay, uh, so I'm going to filter out my collector first, right? Uh, it's going to be filter out my collector and title blocks. Cool, title blocks is equal to new filter on collector.
dot dot of class Oops, type of family symbol dot of category built in category dot OST title blocks. Okay, cool. Alright, um, and the next one for drafting view, so this one we need to grab the drafting view type, right? Uh, so it's going to be, let's see if we can just copy here. And then we're going to change this to view family type. And then we're going to come down here and change this to be uh, view family type. Okay. Okay, great. And then, whoops. I don't have to that one needs to be one line. Okay. And now it's going to be view family type. Ah. equal to call view family type dot and you cast it cast view family type dot first and then use a lambda expression dft ft dot View family. Put a space in there. Equal to view family dot drafting. Alright. And we're going to close that guy out. Okay, cool. And then viewport labels. You guys should know I did this from the last one. Um, and this one we can just copy and paste what we did up here. Yeah. Let me change this to be new titles and then dot OST for view port label. Great. Okay, and looks good. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the viewports. Okay, and then dot OST underscore viewports. Great. All right, and then lastly, we're gonna do it for the detail components too. So copy and detail components. All right, and there's gonna be call detail components. dot OST detail components. Great. Okay. And then open views. This one's uh, just going to be uh, I list of UI views. UI views is equal to UI dot dot get open UI views. Okay. All right. Um, okay, now we're in the transaction. Part two, try and keep these down to 10 minutes each just so it's easier for you guys to kind of part out um, as opposed to being you know, like one hour long, which is, I always found those harder to learn from. Anyways, uh, all right, yeah, um, I'll see you guys over in part three. All right, see you guys there.